assalamu alaikum everyone uh, i hope you guys are doing well so for our assign uh, for our tutorial session today uh, we are going to learn a combination of motion twin and button so if you remember previously i showed how to use uh, motion twin uh, classic twin and button but separately in our previous uh, tutorial session for this one this recorded one uh, I'll try to use both of them in one animation okay so let's just create uh, animation so I, I'll use the default values 1280 by 720 and action skip 3 let's hit create okay so here is our canvas in the layers so let's just rename this layer as there will be one layer for button okay let's create another layer uh, we call it uh, circle circle yeah two layers should be okay uh, the last layer will be animation for the button let's make it three seconds we insert frames and for the circle also we go until three second we insert frame but for the circle we just make the first frame uh, we use blank keyframe okay so here what what it's doing is the button animation layer will play from frame one but the circle one will play from frame two because the first frame of this uh, layer is empty i'll show you later why i'm doing this so let's just select the button okay so let's create a button here let's just do it like this change the color So like this let's add some text to it let's say play change the color uh, to green I guess select this make it center okay the color let's make it black okay so this will be our play button let's just copy this one and paste again this will be another button uh, button 2 and paste again and there's one more button uh, so we have play I'm gonna use this as pause this one we're gonna use resume and the last one we're gonna use is put it here reset reset let's uh, let's just make it a bit center okay 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 something around this in in our button layer uh, if you see clear closely there are no uh, separate keyframes all of the frames it's it's a single keyframe because i want all these buttons to be visible uh, throughout the whole animation but in circle there's one empty keyframe and the ne next keyframe until three seconds it's one whole keyframe okay if you remember from last time if we use a uh, classic twin or motion twin we don't need to divide the layer by uh, what do you call it by keyframes okay so the whole thing can be a single keyframe but the twinning when you change the object to a twin it will create the keyframes on its own and move the animation on its own 
yeah you can control from there so you don't have to like right click and convert to frame by frame animation and uh, you can select uh, how many frames of how many how many frames you want to convert into one keyframe but for this uh, example we don't need that let's go ahead with our circle we go frame 2 we draw a circle from the shapes right click and choose oval tool okay change the color to something something like this then hold shift for a even circle okay something like this okay and select this circle right click create motion twin okay hit okay so it's converting uh converting to a symbol and then it's creating a motion twin okay let's go around 1.5 second uh, no no uh, just let's go at three second and we take it around here okay and when it's in 1.5 let's put it down here let's put it down here make it more curve okay so what this oh, oh sorry so what this will do is the ball will come up and it will go like this from one end to another end so this is a uh, motion twinning so let's just create um, another object uh, with using the classic twin as well okay so what can we create another one let's just okay let's just create something i guess oval another here okay this one already there has a twin right okay this uh, the classic twin and motion twin is the same uh, principle it's just that in classic you have to do it manually so yeah we just don't need it it's okay so this the animation i do here for the circle you can do it with classic twin as well yeah so you just go five to ten frames and then change the position of the uh, object okay so our animation is ready we have our buttons but i did not create any buttons if you remember correctly so these are currently just shapes so we have our buttons we have our motion twin okay so let's go ahead and create the buttons okay select this one then uh, convert to symbol we choose button from here okay so we just rename it to button uh, just rename it to play okay hit ok that's our button number one then re right click this one convert to symbol and this one will be pause pause hit ok then this one right click convert to symbol uh, we say resume lastly the last one is reset we right click convert to symbol uh, rename is as reset okay so right now we have uh, one two three four buttons and one motion to an object so how now our next task is how we gonna actually use these buttons to control the object that's where the action comes in uh, i think i showed some actions in the last tutorial i don't remember exactly which actions did i show but yeah let's just get with this let's uh, right click on frame one okay uh, hit actions okay so first things first if uh, uh, i just play this animation okay let's just go um, win uh, comma control test scene okay as you can see uh, the menu uh, I have the buttons but there's no any kind of stop or anything so it will just keep on repeating itself okay so we have so the first thing that's needed is have we have to have a stop button or a pull uh, stop 
frame so that it doesn't go to frame 2 where the object is unless I play I press play I right click actions I open the code snippet action timeline is stop at this frame okay so the first uh, code is stop let's try this one now this is the codes here Control test movie as you can see this time the object is not coming because it stopped at frame number one okay let's go ahead and in the code the next code will be the play button so how do we assign the play button when we add the code we select the play button okay you just uh, when you have this action tab open and the code snippet open you can choose uh, any object on the frame and then when you select a code that code will be assigned to that object okay let's select play and see what happens so if I select play and then select the next uh, second one click to go to frame and stop okay so this one stop we want to go to frame and play so the third one is click to go to frame and play we double click this one hit okay the, you see the code automatically adds our button the play button and then here the code it says go to and play five so currently the code is uh, suited as when you hit play it will go to frame 5 and start playing but we want to go to frame 2 and start playing so let's change this one to 2 and then try again go to control just sim let's pause if I hit play you can see it's going to frame 2 and when the animation is over it's coming back to frame 1 and it's stopping okay, sorry for the overlays I'll close them okay let's try again currently we are on frame one and it's the action stop is working if I hit play it goes to frame two and it starts playing the whole animation and when the animation is finished usually it repeats itself and starts again from the beginning but in this scenario when it goes back to frame one and trying to start the whole thing again uh, we have a stop action on frame one so it cannot start again we have play it will go and then it will stop the next one we want to do is pause and then resume and then reset the reset should be very straightforward let's do the reset first because uh, it's very straightforward yeah so we select reset and we want to say go to frame and play the same way you said okay so instead of frame 5 this time we're gonna go frame 1 let's see sorry let's see what this does testing uh, we just remove this overlays so how I added the code for reset I selected the reset button when in the code uh, action frame the code automatically is created for the reset button yeah sorry about that let's play the movie uh, okay play reset play reset so what reset is doing it's sending the whole animation to frame one and play but in frame one we have stop so it's stopping on frame one we have play reset play reset okay. so that's two two of the four buttons are done let's go ahead with uh, the rest of the buttons one is pause and one is resume let's select pause and open the code snippet and what we can use I'm just showing you different um, action script from here uh, as I mentioned before uh, there are a lot of action script out there which requires a lot more coding but I don't think in animation technique you need a lot of them these basic ones are okay so here we have click to go to next frame and stop this one scene so we don't want scene we just select for pause click to go to next frame and stop you see it okay let's try this one what this will do is when you hit pause it will go to the next keyframe of the current animation and it will pause or stop okay let's hit control test movie we have play pause 
so after I if I keep on clicking pause it just goes to the next frame and stops yeah pause 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 if I hit play play pause Re uh, we don't have resume yet reset play pause at any point then if I hit pause again it will keep on pausing one frame uh, each time and we have we'll, we need resume and then reset reset goes back to um, frame one okay so our code for pause is done let's work ahead with the resume button so this time select resume we select go to next frame and stop so there are as you can see there is no code for go to next frame and play we only have go to next frame and stop we have go click to go to previous frame and stop let's select let's just select click to go to next frame and stop okay hit okay inside the code uh, is just a button uh, auto generated code let's write play play let's try this one out so I what I do is inside this uh, auto generated code I wrote the word play the function play okay let's let's try this one we go command uh, control just movie this one minimize play pause resume pause resume reset so all the buttons are working pause resume reset play pause resume reset so that's all for um, this tutorial what we do so I will give uh, overall summary right now we created three layers one for button one for circle and one layer is for actions which is auto auto generated you don't have to create that one then we created four different buttons and we created an object circle movie object circle we create used motion tune for the circle uh, to move the circle around and we assign some code snippet to our buttons to navigate the timeline the play one is uh, click to play you, you it's using click to go to frame and play and it's selecting frame 2 because our animation starts at frame 2 so before that on frame 1 we have a stop stop at this frame on frame 1 then uh, click to go to frame and play on on the play button which starts to play from frame 2 then we have pause which is using click to go to next frame and stop then we have resume as we don't have click to go to next frame and play so we use the same function uh, click to go to next frame and stop so instead of stopping we want it to play out so we are uh, we write the function play inside the function option we just write play uh, first bracket and semicolon it what it does is it resumes the playing and in reset we are using go to and play the same one click to go to frame and play so what reset does is it takes the animation to frame one keyframe one and it pauses the whole animation well, let's uh, test out this one more time control test scene okay let's close this one and try to test it out again okay we hit play pause resume reset play reset play pause resume reset this is a very basic uh, use of code snippet and buttons and motion twin i hope i explain it easier okay so i hope uh, you can understand it if you have any question about this obviously you can uh, whatsapp me or contact me through email or teams uh, up to you and from what i know this will be your assignment one the instructions will come later okay so this will be assignment one will be something like this a combination of uh, button and motion tuning i will explain later about the assignments because i still haven't made any decision on what is the assignment or madam didn't give me any instructions yet but assignment one will be something like this 
combination of uh, button and motion tune. So good luck, everyone. I think Madam is going to take class on Thursday, so that's why I I don't have class this Thursday. See you guys on next Thursday, and I will upload the previous class video. I'm very sorry about that. Uh, I I am very late to upload that. I'll try to upload this by that by this weekend. Okay, so it will be in the Google Classroom, both of these classes. And this class, I'll send it to Madam. I think she will give it in at Puzzle or something to record that in us. Okay, I'll take the, uh, I'll end the class here. I don't want to take a more time. Thank you very much. Salam alaikum. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, sorry, uh, I, I wanted Okay, this one is not assignment, right? So it's okay. Because I just wanted to show you how to export. So export, export movie. Then you just select stop. SWF movie. Just change it to name button. And twin. Just save. Okay, so we have a. Uh, SWF movie so usually okay so this one I think I need a SWF player all right I think it should open with Adobe animate yeah let's just hit uh, no I don't want to save this one so here Adobe animate so SWF file exporting uh, will be used later to export your projects and all the submissions will be in SWF file format okay let's just hit double click it's very heavy this app okay let's just wait for a minute okay here is the SWF player also you can use uh, other third-party SWF player up to you there are a lot of SWF players uh, I think I'll look for something myself as well instead of using Adobe Animation Studio play pause resume listen Okay, thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum. So that's how you export the movie.